Hi guys, thanks for joining me. This is going to be another part in my patch series and we're going to use a free design from Urban Threads. And if I sound really excited, it's because I am. Their free design for this month is so adorable. Not only that, um, you want to go from there to design categories down to the freebies. And don't forget to check around the rest of their website. But um, I did a little trial to see if we could do patches with felt and I didn't think it would work because the felt that I use is recycled plastic bottles and um, and so I was afraid it was going to work. It wasn't going to work, but it is going to work and I'm really excited about that because felt is so fun and it's pretty and you can find a bunch of different, um, what do you call it, patterns to work with. So let's just go right in here. This is their freebie. It says, do not worry, be happy. And we're going to choose machine embroidery. PES is what I need. And my size is going to be the lowest that they have. It's going to update it. It's a little bit choppier, but that's okay. <laughs> it's smaller, so it's going to be. All right, so we're going to choose add to cart. And I have already done this, so it might show that it's already in there or there might be some duplication. Yeah, see, it's showing that it's already in there. So. I'm just going to well, let me access that then. Okay, well, that's how you do it, and then you download it. I've already done it, so for some reason it's not letting me download it. I'm going to have to go to my account, my orders. It's been a while since I've been on to Urban Threads because I used to spend... Well, lots of money here. <laughs> okay, so view order. And I'm going to choose the unzipped version of this and the download. And I'm going to choose save file. Okay. And in Mozilla, it comes up here. And once it's all blue, click on that, and then I, ch I like to go to the containing folder. That's saying to open the file, but you can't. I can't open the file with my computer. I have to have Sew It Pro open it. Okay, so I'm just going to take this and drag it onto the desktop, and it's going to tell me that there's already one there. Yep, so I'm going to replace the file in the destination and close that folder. Close the internet and turn on So What Pro. Okay, so now that So What Pro is open, we're going to go to File and Open, or you can also choose this little folder button that's sitting there for Open. We're going to find the file titled UT, which is Urban Threads, and then their file number. Click Open. And that is just adorable. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But it's too big to be able to put a border around it. So we're going to resize it down to just three inches. As long as you have your lock aspect ratio button clicked, it will keep your scale. If you have them separated, it might make it taller or shorter on each side. <laughs> so that is perfect for me to be able to do a border around and make a patch with, okay? and. This is really cute, and I'm excited that we get to use felt, so I'm going to use a, a, um, why can't I think of it now? <laughs> a bean stitch, oh my goodness, around the outside of this. And there's custom borders that you can do. You can draw your border. I don't want to do that, but you can, but I'm not going to. I just wanted to show you. <laughs> And then there's the auto border and the quilted border, but for the patch, or you can choose one of these. You can just make it be a square. You don't have to do what I'm doing. There's lots of different shapes in here as well. Okay, so custom border, auto border, quilted border. We're going for auto border. And you can set it to be really close in to the letters, or you can set it to be really far out. I have it about as midway and um, this was a setting that I used whenever I did like a little trial and it was great. So 
Um, we just want to choose auto border. We want to make sure it says bean and 2 and 25. Okay. And there it is. It's going to be so cute. It's hard to tell that it's a bean stitch, but it is a bean stitch. And let's zoom in so you can see. I wasn't convinced whenever I did my trial, but see how it's light here and then dark and light and dark and light and dark and light. That's our bean stitch. If you switch the 2 and 25, it'll be a very, very, very tight running stitch. <laughs> Okay, so this is great for me. I'm happy with this. I'm not going to change any of the colors. I'm not going to change the order of anything, although I could if I wanted to. Um, maybe I'll put this one to go down first, actually. Yeah? What do you guys think? Well, I know you can't answer that. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Let's order the threads. Okay. Oh, this is this is kind of a pain doing it like this, but that's all right. So then this one needs to be number two, three, four, five. And you can feel free to skip ahead if you don't need to learn any of this. Click OK. Awesome. Okay, so that one will have where the border prints first and kind of tacks down our piece of um, our piece of felt. So, all right, I'll see you guys over at the machine. Okay, guys, now I'm back over at my machine. I went ahead and got my hoop ready by putting some tearaway stabilizer in it. It is this stuff. Pellon number 806. I bought it on the roll at Joann's. And in my opinion, it's the best to use for patches, but I think that you can experiment with all different kinds if you want. We're also going to, at the end of this, use Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. Okay. Just kind of put that over there on the ironing board. And we're going to use a piece of felt. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and cut it down. Be right back. All right. So I've uploaded it to my machine. Let's see. On the Brother SE425, this is what it looks like when it's saved. You choose that, upload, and then you're going to get your nine steps. And we're going to choose the first. Well, we don't need to choose them, they're already chosen. So I will press start and we'll print out the outline first and that'll kind of tack everything down and make it where ooh, that's super bright <laughs> tack it down and make it where the rest of it can kind of print out or sew out without shifting okay guys there is our border our pretty little, um, I don't know why I can't think of it, bean stitch, oh my gosh, our bean stitch, settings of 2 and 25 for length, okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of it, it will take forever so I'm not going to film it, but I'll see you guys when it's all done and meet you over at the ironing board. It's getting ready to sew out the satin stitch, and I noticed in the example online on Urban Threads, it looked really choppy and kind of fell into the felt. So I went ahead and put a piece of Pellon um, water soluble stabilizer film over the top of it, and that should help keep all of the threads together and keep the felt from sticking through. Oh my goodness, it is so adorable. I still have some some stitches to pull.
pull out. Oh, and I didn't see this film was still on there. I don't know how the film's going to go through the iron, so I'd want to get rid of that as much as I can. Okay, so there we go. Cut a piece of the Heat and Bond Ultra Hold. Put the bumpy side and this side down. Okay. And then we're going to have a sandwich of parchment paper. Let's see. There we go. That's where you can see it there. Okay, my iron has been sitting here getting warm for a while, so I'm going to let it hit the ironing board first. And then it says just to do it for eight seconds. Here's my, my trial earlier when I did it so excited because I was sure that the felt was going to melt and it didn't. So I hope it still doesn't. Okay. And if you're going to put this on a project, you know, well, you will put it on a project, use parchment paper over the front of this too. Okay. So everything's kind of stuck to the parchment right now, but Once it cools, <laughs> once it cools, we'll be able to take it apart and it, it will be a patch. So I'm excited for that. I'm gonna let it cool and I'll be right back with you guys. Okay guys, it's cooled off. I'm gonna peel it off of our parchment now. Set that aside. Oh, it is so cute. And I'm so excited we can use felt. I was saying that right. Oh, and I don't even need to cut around it on this one. I just need to peel it off. Try to take your glue with you. Pull down or just peel it off whenever you're done. Oh my gosh, that's so adorable. There's the shiny side in the back. And to iron it onto your project, it will be the same process. You put it onto your project and I would suggest a layer of parchment paper over that and then hold it for eight seconds. You can hold it for even longer. This felt is not melting. So I'm really excited about that. <laughs> if you can't tell. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.